Garth Holman back again. Uh, thanks for joining me. Now we're going to talk about creating an Edpuzzle and assigning it to your students. Um, we already added classes last tutorial, so we've imported our classes from uh, Google Classroom as well as made a new class just called um, PD. Um, the other thing we, we talked about was um, in our content, we looked at the different varieties of where you can get content. So there's two ways to do this. Um, if we're making our own, we already saw how to copy it, we can go to any of these. And so I might go to Crash Course and, you know, just because I don't want to pick a ton of stuff, um, I might do one on George Orwell's 1994. So in this case, it looks like somebody has made it, but there's no questions to it. So I'm going to copy it. The reason I copy it is so I can... Um, Whoops, I don't know if it took. Uh, let's try this again. There we go. So if I go to my content, now I have this Ed Puzzle. So if I go to my content down here, sorry, I actually did it twice, so I'll delete one. I, I click that and delete it. I go in and now I can edit it. So here is me editing. There are no questions, so we just say, okay, I don't want to cut it. Cut it means trim the video. Instead of doing 12 minutes, I might only want to do you know, eight fun. minutes. It's, it's up to fun. whatever we want. So I'm going to leave it. A voiceover lets you do a like a beginning, or replacing the audio track with your own or in a different language. We're going to basically mess with questions, so let's get started with these. Oh, I'm way at the end. No wonder. Which created in 1984 was intended to make speech as nearly as possible independent of consciousness. In an episode of Crash Course Psychology, my brother oh, Oceania appears to have always been at war with East Asia or with. So I can add a multiple choice question. Um, who was uh, always at war? Now I didn't really listen, so I'm just going to put Japan. Right. I think I heard him say East Asia. I think he said with Oceana. But I can make this the correct answer, or this the wrong one. I can provide feedback. He said whatever, right? Da da da. So I could explain why that's the correct answer. I then just say, okay, let's keep going. With Eurasia, it changes depending on shifting alliances. The central tenet of Ingsoc, the version of English socialism practiced in Oceania, is that the past is immutable, that it has no objective existence and exists only in written records and in human memories. Orwell writes, the past instinct, just as one's lungs, will always draw the next. All right, again, I could go here and add another multiple choice. Again, I'm not really listening, so did he say... A, B, or C. And again, I have to tell it which one's the right answer. And then under feedback, I can say he said B. Now, I could be writing a much more in-depth explanation. The other thing is you can give feedback on wrong. No, he said whatever. You can do that. You save. I'm not going to go through and do all this, but you get the idea that now we have two questions so as the video is playing for kids, persons or vaporized political dissidents, it will pause and ask the questions and the kids have to respond to that question. So once you're done with that, you can say finish. Finish makes it to where it's now got two questions and I can assign, edit, or duplicate. Well, I want to assign it. I can pick who I want to assign it to. So I'm going to assign it to my PD class, all students, right? I'm going to make it due today, and I'm going to make it, or excuse me, make it due April 9th. Well, our school's saying Monday to Monday, so let's say the Monday, and you say save. It now appears on their calendar, and it will appear on their stuff that, hey, I have an assignment. I'm ready to roll. You can post to Google Classroom if you want. Um, I don't know why my, oh, because I'm not, that's not from Google Classroom. If I were to click Toledo 2, now I can post it to Google Classroom. Um, and you can clear and close captioning on if you have students who are um, hard of hearing. If I take this off, it won't let me do Classroom because I don't 
they, this isn't a classroom class. Actually, I'll, I'll do it to here, right? So now I can assign. That has been assigned to people. Um, and I can see, in this case, JC, guy that teaches for tomorrow, has never done it. If he were to go watch it, um, if he gets the two questions right, it would say he got 100 and watched 90% of the whole film. So it'll score it with you. You can also do it live in class. Um, and you can download your grades and view them. So the other thing we might want to take a peek at is you can also pull in content because let's say I'm on YouTube and I want to do this video, right? So this is a video I made. I can go grab the address. And when you have the address... Hello, guys. This is Gar ...any YouTube, I can um, go to YouTube and I can just paste that in and hit return and it finds that video. I don't have to search through theirs, I can do this. I can cut it down. Uploading a video. And I can make the video um, just that I long, right? So it's only 47 seconds. If I do that, I can then go to my questions. I only have a 40 second long video. Hello guys, this is Garth Holman from Teachers for who is speaking? Oh. All right. JC Link. Or Garth Holman, right? Correct answer is me, not JC. And again, I can build one very quick and assign it to whomever I want. So. Tomorrow.net. No, no. Tomorrow. No, I'm getting it to pause. But that's kind of how it is. You finish. Your videos are now in your content. So if we go back to content and my content, you'll see now I have these videos, right? I can delete this, there's one question. This is the one I copied from somebody else, but now I can assign it. This is the one with two questions that I assigned and this is there. So if we look back, we learned how to make video, we published it, and we've assigned it to students. Now there are other things to this program that I've mentioned like the, the live where you can do it in class and it'll pause and you could do it, but that's not really relevant for us today. Um, and I think if you look at these, you can pretty much find any video you might find on, or find on the web to be able to use. So that's it for teachersfortomorrow.net on Edpuzzle. I hope you enjoy it and send us a tweet and let us know how it goes for you.